Hi friends, this is your prophet, Prophet Great. Uh, please, today is your very first time of watching our channel. Uh, we entreat you that you subscribe, like and share. And God will bless you in Jesus' name. Today we'll be studying something very important, something very crucial. Star Hunters. Star Hunters. Now you must understand that every child of God, is a star. God has a plan for your life. God created you for a purpose. The Bible says that he created you for his glory. He created you for the manifestation of his glory. God speaking to Abraham. He said to him, Abraham, come, let me show you something. And the Bible said the Lord brought him out of his tent. I said, look up. And when Abraham looked, God asked him, what did you see? Abraham said, I saw stars. And God said, so shall thy seed be. So every seed of Abraham is a star. And in Galatians chapter 3, the last verse, verse 29, the Bible says, if you are born again, if you have given your life to Jesus, then you are Abraham's seed. So every Abrahamic seed is a born star. You are destined for greatness. You are destined destined to manifest greatness. But now listen to me. That is what is called star hunters. Their job description is to hunt after stars, to hunt after men of exploit, is to hunt after people that are pregnant with destiny. Remember what the Bible says. The Bible says, for all creation waited patiently for the manifestation of the sons of God. And so what the devil does is to fight your star to a standstill. Is to fight your star not to manifest. Like the ten brothers of Joseph. The Bible says Joseph had a dream. He saw eleven stars bowing before him. Joseph had a dream. That he's going to be a mighty star. He's going to be a celebrity. Now what happened? The Bible says for the sake of his dream. His brothers hated him yet the more. So there are people that hate you, not because of your person, but because of your star. There are witches, there are wizards, there are star hunters. And the Bible says, they say, let's sell him as a slave to, the, to a strange land. Let's see what will become of his dream. But thank God that God stepped in and God frustrated their counsel. I prayed for you, every star hunters, after your life. Whether it's your uncle, whether it's your stepmother, whether it's your stepsisters, whether it is a native doctor, whether it's an evil man in your community or in your neighborhood, after your star, may the Lord frustrate them in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And as star hunters, they hunt stars to arrest them. There are star hunters. There are many stars that have been arrested and caged. There are many stars that have been in captivity, in prison. So they shouldn't shine. But the devil will not see your star in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your star is what connect dignitaries to you. Your star is what connect your helpers to you. Speaking about Jesus, the Bible says when he was born, his star was seen by wise men from the east. It was through his star they traced him and they came and they honored him. They came and they gave him gifts. Praise God. So there are star hunters. Now when Herod heard about the star of Jesus, the Bible says he became angry. As a result of that, he gave an instruction. That all the firstborn to be killed in order to destroy that star. So there are star hunters. There are star hunters. We saw the life of David. As soon as David manifested glory, his life became a threat to a star hunter by name Saul. And Saul began to hunt after David like a wild beast. We also saw in the life of Mordecai and Haman. Haman was a man that was so terrible. 
He was an occultic man. They always visit native doctors to check people's star. He was told that this man called Mordecai is going to be so great. His star is so mighty. And the Bible says, Haman hated Mordecai to the core and began to plot evil. How to kill his star. How to waste his star. How to hijack his star. I come to pray for you. Every star hunters, every star destroyers, they will not destroy your star. The Lord frustrate them over your life. The Lord cancel their plot. The Lord disappoint the enchantment against your star in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise God. Your star will shine. Your star will make impact. Your star will be seen all over the world in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise God. So anytime you see yourself in a dream, you see people chasing you. You see people, you see animals, you see beasts, you see powers, you see spiritual husbands, spiritual wives coming around to mess you up. These are star hunters. So you need to rise up and fight that power. Praise God. In the name of Jesus, they will not prevail. In Jesus' name. Shalom. God bless you. Hallelujah.